action. It's 610. If you pass the city center building in downtown Milwaukee today, you may notice a new flag flying on this Milwaukee day. A group of local organizations and businesses are sponsoring a contest to replace the old design. Steve Shamras tells us why one of the entries has already come to life. Milwaukee's current flag is a hodgepodge of current and long-retired Milwaukee landmarks, like County Stadium, City Hall, and some industrial buildings. The group The People's yeah. Flag of Milwaukee wants an overhaul and organized a contest for people to submit new flag designs. Jason McDowell, graphic designer at On Milwaukee, took this idea and ran with it. The design itself I've had in my head actually since before this contest was even created. Um, but this was the impetus to kind of like get that all down. His design features green for the land, blue for the lake, and a gear. The spokes of the gear um, represent the original guy who um, started a, the first fur trading post here, and then the three other founders. On Milwaukee ordered a giant 10 by 14 foot version of Jason's flag. Their offices are in the city center building at Water and Mason. The building's owners agreed to fly that flag atop this building on Milwaukee Day. It's pretty great to see uh, the flag hanging up on 414 Day um, as a symbol to represent how Milwaukee works together and it's kind of as a, vi a, a vision of how the city could be better. Steve Shamraz, today's TMJ4. So the winner will be announced on Flag Day, which is <laughs> June 14th, another holiday around here. For more information about the flag contest, you can go to milwaukeeflag.com. Lots of people are going to have opinions on that. Yeah, and it's good that we're doing it today, Milwaukee Day 414. Mm -hmm. right? All right, coming up next.